I'm here with Jessie from Saffron and Sage, and she's gonna talk us through three different ways that you can cleanse the energy in your home. So the most common way to energetically cleanse a space is by performing a ritual called smudging, commonly with sage. Also great to clear airborne bacteria. You light the sage, get the smoke flowing. You wanna clear windows and doors, okay. keeping everything really open so the negative energy can move through, making space for positive energy. Notice some stones over here. Can you tell me a little bit about this guy? Yes, so this is the black tourmaline and okay. this is the protection stone. Perfect to keep in a place that you want all of the negative energy absorbed. The bedroom is a nice place, especially for a couple. You always want that space to be light and filled with love, so that's a good one to have by the door. And then this one, probably a little different, right? Yes, this is a selenite one. Okay. Um, they also call it liquid light and it's just a perfect stone to have to cleanse yourself or to cleanse energy. Keep it in a space, yes, just like that, yes. Keep it in a space, high traffic, the kitchen, the living room, to keep the energy light and fresh. Love that. Lastly, I noticed we have a journal over here. Yes. Specifically, if you are buying a new home or you're moving into a new space, mm -hmm. it's really nice to set a foundation of how you want the space to function and exist. When we are doing a sage ceremony along with the saging, often I have clients set very specific feelings. For example, a kitchen would be a place of nourishment, the heart of the home. Right. For an office, you would want to kind of infuse creativity and productivity. Yeah. So just a really nice way to have a very intentional purpose for each space in your home. I love that. Okay, so great. So if you guys are looking to cleanse your space, reach out to Jesse Saffron and Sage, and they have journals, you have your crystals and your sage, and you'll be good to go.